Gosh, it's awful cold, isn't it? Yeah, I heard it's meant to freeze tonight. Oh, no, really? But it would have to be down around two or three degrees right now if that was the case, wouldn't it? I have an idea. We can check that. Hello, my name is Maeve Coleman and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Maxim Integrated. Today, I'm going to talk about how to record a mission with the OneWire viewer. This video can follow on from a previous video how to set up the DS1922L with the OneWire Viewer software. It can also be accompanied by the user guide, OneWire Viewer User Guide. As noted in the previous video, to set up an I button with the OneWire Viewer, you need an adapter, a reader, an I button, and your laptop. We connect all these together. Plug into our laptop and open up the OneWire Viewer software. Here we can see the software has picked up the DS1922L. There are various different tabs we can use to control the device. This is the description tab. It gives the name, address and a short description of the device. The main tab we'll be using today is the mission tab. A mission is the term used to describe the instant from when an I button starts logging data to when it finishes and further data collection has stopped. We are using the DS1922L Thermocron. Thermocrons log temperature data. As we can see here, the mission tab displays various mission parameters. To start a mission, we click Start New Mission up here. This window pops up where we have to fill in our desired parameters. These include sampling rate. We will take a measurement every 60 seconds. We won't create a start delay or temperature alarm, but we can see here that these functions are also possible. There are other boxes here which you must decide whether or not to tick. One is enable rollover. If you tick this box, when the I button's memory is full, the memory will be overwritten by new log data. If you don't enable rollover when the memory is full, the new values will just be discarded. Now we've selected our parameters, we press OK to start a new mission. So, now the mission has started and the first temperature reading will be taken within the next 60 seconds as per my parameters. So, the great thing about iButtons is, we can now disconnect the iButton from the reader and place wherever we need to log temperature data. So I'm going to go outside and check if we're going to get a big freeze. So I'm just back from lunch. The iButton has been outside logging data for a couple of hours. Let's go get it and see the results. So now I have the I button, we just click it back into place and open up the OneWire Viewer software. From here, we go back to the Mission tab and click Disable Mission. This stops the I button from logging more data. Now to see our measurements, click the Temperature Data Log. Here we can see our various measurements which have been taken and stored in the I button memory. Unfortunately, it looks like we may be having some cold weather on the way. To download this data, simply right click and go to save data to .csv file. This data can also be viewed in Fahrenheit if needed. This tab, however, is not to be confused with the real-time temperature tab here. The real-time temperature tab shows temperature measurements when there is no mission running. These measurements are just to display current temperature in the I button, but they are not logged to the I button memory. It's a cool resource to have. So there you have it. I may need to wrap up warm over the next few days. 
We've now completed a mission with the I button and the OneWire viewer. For more information, see application notes linked to this video. Thank you for watching.